It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Atlanta Falcons. And it comes your way next. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? Two-minute drill? Maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Now the kicker, that's Cameron Dicker, set to get us started. And we are underway from Atlanta. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They are led out by their veteran quarterback hailing from Michigan State, and we like that. It's Kirk Cousins. And one nice thing you can always say about Kirk Cousins is that he's consistent, always puts up nice numbers each and every year. If there is a downside to his game, it's been the lack of playoff success. All in all, though, a formidable starting quarterback at a time in the league where it's tough to find your franchise guy. First play and a first pass for Cousins. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation to an easy completion and a first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Meanwhile, Cousins throw into the hands of Pitts here. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here now, second and four. They go play action. Cousins looking deep here for Mooney. This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 49 yards. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. To throw is Cousins. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. John L. Mooney from six yards away. And the Falcons are on the board first here this afternoon. 
And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that, that's the, right? high that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020, the man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And it certainly hadn't taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap. And the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, they'll burn you. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 22. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. This second and four. Now they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Edwards now on first and 10. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. On first and 10, Herbert, short throw underneath to Hurst. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that will bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Herbert off of play action. A quick throw there is incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And that will be incomplete. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now 
Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the 22 now, here's second down and two. Cousins. Quick slant, caught by Moore. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. And getting this just shy of midfield is spotted at the 49. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Now a first down throw complete downfield. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A very solid gain of 27. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. First down. Here's Cousins. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it, an in route, going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Second and ten. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Cousins to throw it. And he is caught. Stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Algier will score. Touchdown, Atlanta. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced to punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was Tyler Algier capping things off with a touchdown.
And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Herbert's throw here on target to Hurst. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. This is second and eight. Herbert now. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. So he stopped for no gain. And third and eight now. And they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. the middle it's Edwards this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two you know what really fires up offensive linemen when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way from the 41 here's second and a couple now Herbert off the bootleg in the heavy traffic and it's intercepted and the Falcons are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Partner, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine, and that looks to be eight officially, so second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Two yards to go, second down. Robinson with another carry. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Cousins on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. 
Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 44 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. The throw over the middle, taken in. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 yards, first down, Atlanta. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A give left side to Robinson. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and seven. Working out of the gun, Cousins. That ball is caught. It's London for the Atlanta touchdown. 15-yard touchdown Brown, And the Falcons take a three-touchdown lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Coup for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The possession switching back now to the Chargers. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Here's Herbert. That is taken in by Hurst. And he is out of bounds but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. Ah, uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit, and they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now it's Herbert. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to take over at their own 13-yard line.
About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. They've had a very solid first half, and as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? The adjustment to the adjustment. Exactly. So I can't wait to see if we come out of the half how they're going to go about doing things. Do you just keep running what you ran before, or do you go to your counters expecting those adjustments to happen? Before that, we'll see the end here this first half. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. they got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Cousins now from the 50. This is caught by Robinson. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First and ten, it's Robinson. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second and six. Throwing his Cousins. No, oh, and that is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Cousins. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Koo knocks this one through the post, and the round is on. It's 24 to nothing. Well, they got the turnover and were able to drive it down, Charles, but ultimately, in the end, the defense holds up and they only come away with the three points. Yeah, they gave up a lot of ground, but when they had to, they settled in and prevented the interception from leading to six points because you never want to see turnovers turn into any type of points against you, but better to give up three than six. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front.
As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report, an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive and his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now a second and 10. Quick throw here to Johnston. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because to me all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And the Falcons are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, I think everyone who's watching was certainly hoping to see things get a little bit better for them in this half, weren't we? But it was a downright miserable first half that's carried over with an interception to begin the second half. That's a defeated offense right there. And there's still a lot of game left. I don't think that's the last turnover we're going to see today, partner. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. Following the interception, Cousins targeting Pitts on the out route, and he's got it complete. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Robinson up the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. 
But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. To throw, Cousins. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Here's third and three. Cousins. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Koo knocks this one through the post. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. Well, whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. The putter pinion now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here... This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to <laughs> hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Herbert off of play action. Look at right sideline. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Checks this down to Edwards out of the backfield. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. To the air again, Herbert. Pass taken in by his good tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A pickup of 27, and they pick up the first down in the process. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football, but right now they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Herbert operating from the red zone. And it's caught. 
And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Edwards. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Dobbins. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone, and he responds. One carry, one touchdown. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. It's up and good, and it makes it 27-7 now. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Cousins now to throw on first down. Got London on the slam. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And they'll come up second and seven. They go play action. Cousins. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand 
They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that's also all for this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. Back now in Atlanta. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Brady Jarrett able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because... He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. A give for Edwards, running right. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. The throw over the middle, taken in. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. A gain of eight there on the play. And now it's third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Herbert on third down now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Once more, Edwards pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. 
The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 67 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. On first and 10, it's Algier. He's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and seven. Hey, let's make some big calls. Come on, let's make On the give, here's Robinson. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This now a third and four. They'll run again here with Robinson. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Hand off now to Robinson. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle.